What's up guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to clip with NVIDIA GeForce Experience. The first thing you're going to want to do is look up NVIDIA GeForce Experience in your web browser. Once you do this, click on the first link and it will take you to a screen that allows you to download it. Since I already have it downloaded, I can skip this part. You will need to download the application. Once it is downloaded, you want to open NVIDIA GeForce Experience. When you open, you should see a screen that shows the games you own. In the upper right corner, there's a settings button. You're going to want to click on this. It should take you to a screen that looks like this. From here, scroll until you see the game overlay option. Make sure this is ticked on. Once you do that, click the button next to the settings. You should now see a screen that looks like this. The first thing we want to do now is go to the instant replay and then go into the settings for the instant replay. This will bring a pop-up that shows the settings for your clips. For the length of the clip, I recommend using 2 minutes. This is a good amount so that you don't miss anything in the clip, but it is also not too long of a clip. If you play Battle Royale games such as Fortnite, you can use it up to 20 minutes if you want to capture the whole entire match. Next up is the quality. As long as you have an OK PC, I recommend you use high quality on 60 FPS. For the resolution, I recommend using the in-game resolution. For bitrate, you want to use 50, but I wouldn't go any lower. You can use higher if you want. Just keep in mind, the better the quality and length of the clip, the more space it'll take up in your storage. Once you finish, save and press back. Now press the microphone and select Always On. Next, you're going to want to go to the microphone settings. For system sounds, put volume to 100. Then select the microphone you'd like to use. Put the volume to 80 and select Separate Both Tracks at the bottom. This setting allows you to separate the game noise and mic noise in the clip. This helps because if you don't want your mic volume in the clip, you can take it out while still having the game volume. Press save and press back. Now go to settings. Select keyboard shortcuts. Scroll down to where it says record and look where it says save the last blank minutes recorded. The amount of time will be the length, the clip length you selected earlier. Press on it and select the key you want to use as your clip button. I would make this a key you don't use a lot, and it would also be a key that you would not accidentally press while playing. Now go back and go to highlights. Have this turned off. Go back and select done. Now go over to instant replay and press turn on. Now whenever you want to clip something, you can press the key you selected earlier that was your clip button. When you want to view the clip, press Alt-Z and it will open the menu you are in right now. Go to Gallery and press the clip you want and select Open File Location. From there, it will bring you to an area with all your clips that you can watch. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a sub and a like and that would be greatly appreciated. Also, drop any other questions you have in the comments that I can answer in one of my next videos. Hope you enjoyed.